outside and is due out in book form next month. The spin excerpt chronicles Manson's liaisons with singer Fiona Apple and actress Tracy Lords, among other things, and is illustrated with pictures by the orchidaceous photographer David LaChapelle. The spin excerpt is accompanied by an interview with Manson by Julia Chaplin, in which the singer says that Smashing Pumpkin Billy Corgan will be the executive producer of his next album, and the Dust Brothers will mix it. This turns out to be not exactly the case, though, and Manson himself was steamed about the interview when he called us about it on Friday. First of all, these are not the questions I was asked and not the answers I would give to those particular questions. Um, the reason why I wrote my book was to put an end to the circulation of false information. And if anybody wants to read what I really have to say, it, it's in my book. And the other thing is uh, regarding uh, our new album that we're working on. Uh, Billy Corgan and the Dust Brothers are both involved in some capacity, but not necessarily in the way that they were named in the Spin article. Um, the, the album is being produced by me, and uh, the, their participation is to be determined in the future. Spin stands by its Manson interview, and here's what executive editor Craig Marks had to say about the singer's ire during a phone conversation earlier today. The questions that Julie Chaplin asked Marilyn Manson are the same as the questions that were published in the February issue of Spin with Marilyn on the cover. They were edited for clarity, of course, and for context, but those are the questions that he was asked, and those are the answers that he gave, and, and Spin stands behind uh, our writer and our issue as far as that goes. In the great authorial tradition, Marilyn Manson will be doing a series of book signings for fans, the first of them at midnight on Valentine's Day, February 14th at Virgin Records here in Times Square. As for Billy Corgan, he weighed in with a phone call last Friday, too, explaining that his involvement with the Manson album was, quote, strictly casual. As for the long-delayed whole album, on which he worked for a while, Corgan says he simply helped get that record started, co-writing seven songs and playing bass on one. He then advocated in favor of what he calls a real producer, Michael Beinhorn, who previously worked with Soundgarden. Still no estimated release date for that record. Hole's last album came out three years ago. There is, however, a new Smashing Pumpkins album in the pipeline. It's due out in the spring. Corgan says it's very song-oriented and very light, not hard rock. He cites the influence of the rootsy new radio play genre called Americana music, but adds that, quote, we don't have a drummer, and that's been the biggest influence on the record. Carson? I love that article in Spin because there's so much, there's so many blatant lies in the music industry about Marilyn Manson, and they ask some really good questions. Yeah, well, he's, a, he's he has a career ahead of him as a social commentator. He's a very funny guy. Did you see him on Politically Incorrect? Yeah, he's a very funny guy. He made more sense than anybody else. Yeah, he's great. I have a question about Ill Town. I, I saw, I haven't seen the movie, but I, I saw the previews, and it didn't look anything like that clip. It was really twisted. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was really That's great one of the more movie. sane. Uh, that is one of the more. You know, like straight up regular scenes in the film, but you should go see it, Kurt, because it's.